Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 21-22 Donruss Optic Basketball, Asia edition. With the uh, gold wave and red wave parallels, four box, pick your team number three, the final third of this case, and some break credit being given away if you followed the instructions here. No fillers, we sold this one out straight up, so thanks everyone for making this happen on a Wednesday, I appreciate it. Patrick ended up with Last Bob Mojo, Pistons. All right, we remember how I marked those in the first break so we know they're all from the same case. And good luck, everybody. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, the Lakers are down to the Clippers, 104 to 95. Yeah, another slow start out of that third quarter kind of burning him. They keep if they, if they can keep those third quarters close, these fourth quarters wouldn't be as bad, but yeah, they're struggling here. Three and a half minutes left. Let's see what they can do. These, these cards packed backwards? Mike Tower saying, uh, we were talking a little hockey before and about Gretzky's rise. Uh, Mike Tower saying, fascinating whenever there are generational players in any sport. Gretzky, Lemieux, Crosby, and McDavid. Uh, like, what's, what do you mean? Like, what's the fascination? Why is it fascinating? Derek Rose, Red Wave. Spencer Denwitty, Red Wave, Lugans Dort. Got a Jalen Green. Scotty Barnes, Red Wave, nice. Kelly Olenek. And a John Wall gold wave. I was hoping that'd be a uh, rated rookie, but that's all right. We've got that Scotty Barnes, though, for the Raptors. That's going to be for Matthew Linder in Toronto. Right, players, I understand what generational means. Like you're saying it's fascinating whenever there are generational players in any sport. Am I missing? Maybe I'm missing something. Are you just saying it's cool to see that, I guess, is what you're saying? I think so, too. It's Jalen Johnson, rated rookie red wave. Basic. Okay, I got you. I... Th I I thought, I thought you were gonna hit me with like, uh, with the fascination of this only happens every ten to fifteen years, or studies have shown that that uh, players of a certain age or a, from a certain area, you know, that's how they become generational talents or something like that. You're just saying it's cool to see generational talents. Yeah, I agree. How about you hold that question to the till the next uh, to the soccer break that's coming up right after this, Mike? Gilo saying, "How far does crypto have to drop for them to rename it back to Staples Center?" Um, I don't know.
No. I don't think they will. Because if you're that deep into crypto at this point, like, I mean, unless you need the money, but if you need the money, you shouldn't be investing in crypto. <laughs> but if you, if you have any money in crypto right now, there's really no point in pulling out, pulling that money out of whatever exchange you have. I mean, what's the point? You're losing money anyway. You just, per, you just have to forget that even exists <laughs> and hope that in a few years it'll it'll jump up to like 100,000 or something like that. If anything, those crypto.com guys are probably buying more. And for the people that were priced out of crypto, I mean, maybe now's a good time to buy. But... I mean, that's only, you know, that, that's only uh, if you have the money to invest, right? No, I wouldn't put anything from savings into crypto either. It's way too volatile unless, unless you understand the risk and accept the volatility. But that's, that's a lot more bolder than I am. And I'm not that heavy into crypto anyway. I mean, that, that's, this is not financial advice. This is just, I think, this very, very broad, top-down look at it. Is Evan Mobley. Rated rookie for the Cavs. Brian with the Cavaliers. Are there other sports venues that have reverted back to an older previous name? That's a good question. I don't know. There's a Cade Cunningham, my house insert for Detroit, Patrick. I wonder if crypto was involved in the contract terms of the name. I'm sure there is. I mean, I don't know. Are, are there, uh, are there opt-outs for them? Are there other clauses that say if, what happens when they go? I mean, they must have a clause that says what happens if we go bankrupt? I'm sure crypto.com is concerned about as a, uh, I mean, they're technically, yeah, they're a cryptocurrency exchange based in Singapore. And I think, you know, the recent news with FTX and Binance and all that, there's Brandon Clark Gold Wave for the greatest Chris Corwin it makes it, uh, you know, puts these exchanges on, on, on shaky footing. And I'm sure that any crypto exchange is now a little concerned or have concerns or just being a little more cautious. I feel like FTX maybe not. So maybe that's a lesson learned for other crypto exchanges. This, this, all this crypto stuff is like in its infancy. So it's like, there's going to be a, a lot more companies that are going to, to rise and fall based off of this. And it'll be, a, it'll be a while, in my opinion, it'll be a while before you see the dust settle and see who the foremost peeps are. So we'll see. We'll see what happens with the crypto. But that being said, there has to be a clause in there, Gilo, that says if if the if the company crypto.com is a private company, if, if this company goes belly up, if they go bankrupt, what happens? I'm sure there's an out in that contract in that case. You know what I mean? There has to be. You know, like if it turns out like their founders like to go to Alaska and 
bash baby seals with clubs or something like that. Oh, if, if that seems, if that's the case, you know, and then, and then people are all up in an outrage that these guys are bashing baby seals, you know. Yeah, there's a guy in the Chiefs who wanted all his contract paid in Bitcoin. I wonder how he's doing. Yeah, how is he doing? Look up that guy. See, I mean, he might be released already, Gilo. And they'll just be like, I don't have to pay him any of the any of the coin. Pet saying, uh, pets one saying, didn't witty also wanted some crypto. Yeah, I feel like some recent contracts. I've, yeah, I can't remember off the top of my head, but I think. Some players want like a portion of their contract in crypto or something like that. There's Buddy Healed, Red Wave Kings Edition. There's Namias Queda, uh, Rated Rookie Red Wave. And I got Gold Wave Anthony Davis. And it looks like the Lakers are going to lose by 13. Annoying. Oh, what's more annoying is that look, listen, the Lakers, the Clippers only outscored the Lakers by one in the fourth quarter. So if they're in the third quarter, if the Lakers weren't down thirty-three to twenty-three, right, they might have been a little more competitive in the fourth quarter. Your pets ones clips, yeah, good game, and it might have been a different score line, or at least a more competitive score line by the end. There's Evan Mobley for the Cavs. It's going to go to Brian in Cleveland. It's Kevin Porter Jr. Red Wave. If I had Kyrie as my financial advisor, seeing which stocks are best suited to the world being flat, yeah, he would He would be investing in the in the things that I don't align with, probably. Flat Earth stock, not buying that. There's James Booknight. And D'Lo, Red Wave. Book night's going to go to Charlotte. That's for Brian Watford. Final box. Good luck. It was uh, it was Sean Culkin. His entire $920,000 salary was paid in Bitcoin. He was cut two months later. He no longer plays. How much of that do you think he actually got? How much of that was guaranteed? It might just be... I don't know, those football salaries are weird, right? Because you actually have to start playing to earn those game checks. But if he didn't, he may only just have gotten a signing bonus. And that signing bonus may, may not have been in crypto. He no longer plays as Shilo. I guess he was with the Chargers. I guess he was with the Chargers from 2017 to 2019. I don't know how much money he's... He had a $12,000 signing bonus. So there's that. I don't know if he actually dressed for any games to get game checks. 
on that $559,000 salary Has Jaspi's considered accepting Bitcoin as payment for breaks? Yes, we have. I don't think the conversation went too far beyond, hey, should we accept Bitcoin someday? Yeah, we should. <laughs> and that was that. It's Quentin Grimes, rated rookie, red wave for the Knicks. That's going to be for Ed here in this final box. I feel like it's kind of a hassle to to keep track of and implement I guess maybe maybe I'm maybe it's harder than maybe it's easier than I think but I think it's a whole other accounting thing that we'd have to do just keep it simple for now it's Trey Young red wave And we got an Isaiah Livers signature series rookie autograph. Last spot mojo, Pistons, Patrick Cox. Not numbered. I don't see a number here, but there you go. I feel like maybe I'm thinking of someone else. Isaiah Livers have... A good game recently? He's getting minutes, but I don't know if he's had a really breakout game. You know what I'm thinking of? I'm thinking of Isaiah Likely. <laughs> I'm thinking of, of Ravens tight end Isaiah Likely. Who had, uh, who scored a touchdown? Uh, one reception and a touchdown. Actually, he's had two touchdowns two weeks in a row. But Isaiah Livers, he is getting minutes, so that's a good thing. So, some upsides, some potential for him. What else do we have here? Isaiah Todd. Rookie Silver, Trey Mann, Andre Drummond, and that is that. That was Pick Your Team 3, 21-22, Panini Donners Optic Basketball, Asia Edition, four-box Pick Your Team number three. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.